stage one timing on a 3.6. You can see the marks on the crank, one on the oil pump, one on the sprocket itself lined up. <clears throat> Already got the chain installed, left intake phaser. You can see it's marked. You can see my colored link is lined up with the L mark or the little dot, the circular dot right there. And exhaust, L mark, and circular dot, colored link. Tensioner's in. Tensioner guides 18 foot pounds, 43 on the phasers, 43 on this idler sprocket. And you can see that this one. Cellular sprocket is also marked on the outside on what bank it goes on. This is left bank guys You can see that colored link Right through the window. That's what we want So we're gonna pull our pin And we're done with that now onto the primary oh. All right. <clears throat> Stage one timing setting the primary Okay, we got, you're always going to work counterclockwise, guys, towards your tensioner, okay? And that goes for every, everything on this job. And generally speaking, that goes for a lot of timing chain jobs. Something I failed to mention, these intake actuators or phasers, if you will, are marked left and right. Okay? There is a difference between these two. Now, the exhaust ones don't matter. Those are interchangeable, but... You need to pay attention to that because you put this left one on this right one, you're going to have problems, okay? But GM was nice enough to label them for us. Um, <clears throat> okay, so getting back to this, we're still on our time. Our, we're still on our um, stage one timing mark on the oil pump and the little dot on our crank gear, which is new. All our gears are new. We've got our colored link lined up with that. We've got our colored link lined up with the dot on our idler sprocket. And we've got our colored link lined up with the dot on this idler sprocket. And all of our, our chain is nice and seated on all of our um, guides and our tensioner, okay? 18 foot-pounds on this tensioner, um, 18 foot-pounds on this guide, and 18 foot-pounds on him. We're good. We verified our marks. Let's pull our pin. Press her down a little bit. <clears throat> and we're done with stage one timing. Now we're going to roll her over to stage two, which is basically where the crank gear mark. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. So this is stage one timing mark on the pump. And this is our timing mark on our crank. We're going to roll this mark right here over to our stage two timing mark, which See that white dot up in there right there on the oil pump okay and then we're gonna set our right bank same way we set our bank over here okay our left bank so I'll go ahead and do that and just a side note this is in service procedures but you should always have 10 links so one in between these colored links from from actuator to actuator so if we count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten links okay if you're doubting yourself now you're gonna run into an issue because your mark is here on your right alert sprocket right and your color links here you can see i've got it on the right the triangular the one marked r on the intake and i've got it marked um lined up with the well i'm off one but i'll fix that this one's gonna line up with that one right there all right, real quick, a tip on these. This bank's going to give you trouble because these cams kind of sit in an odd spot and they're going to want to roll on you, okay? You can't screw this up as long as you just verify your marks, okay? You can, again, triangular notch, right exhaust, colored link, 10 links in between the two, right, and the triangular notch, okay? And then down here, I don't know if you can see that, that mark, 
right there, okay? Now you might have to move your crank just a little bit. Don't get carried away because if you jump time on your primary, you're gonna be starting over. This is how you're on my top dead center, well I was, um, but you can see the exhaust lobe down, intake lobe up, okay? And you can see that. You can't screw it up, guys. Just double check your marks. All right, real quick. You know, as you're putting these tensioners in, you gotta make sure that the little arm is lined up on the tensioner guide, okay? Double check your marks before you pull your pins. You can see that one's on. You can see that one's on. And that one is on. It's gonna be hard to see my mark, but you can kind of see the paint behind there, that white paint. See it? So, this one's good. Pull it. Press them down a little bit. And we're done. Now, once you're at this stage, go back through with your 18 foot, foot pound torque wrench and just double check all your guides and all your tensioners to make sure they're all torqued to spec. Now what we're gonna do now I'll take the cover off. We're gonna roll this engine over about, oh, I don't know, probably five or six times just to make sure everything seats and it rolls over nice, okay? I got the spark plugs out. You're gonna to wanna to take your plugs out. It makes it rolling the engine over a lot easier. And then we'll get this cover ready to install and seal. And all right, she should roll over nice and smooth. Mine does. Now, keep in mind, once you roll her over, timing marks aren't gonna line up anymore. So it's a one-time shot. That's why it's important you get it right the first time.